The California school superintendent of equity handed his letter of resignation in last night. This comes after Politico first reported that Daniel Lee lives across the country and has no background working in any school system. Political reporter Morgan Reiner has more on what this means for the Department of Education. Daniel Lee and the superintendent Tony Thurman's relationship goes back years. Former Politico, now LA Times reporter Mackenzie Mays, who broke the story, said that Lee was in Thurman's wedding party. Now a community activist is telling me it was right for Lee to resign, but he's worried about what this means for the Department of Education. Carl Pinkson is the director of operations for the Black Parallel School Board, a community-based parent activist organization. In the midst of the pandemic, the the opportunity gap has widened even more so. Which is why he says the position Daniel Lee held is crucial. To have a superintendent of equity at the state live level basically lays down the marker to say, you must do this now. And why he's upset superintendent Tony Thurman picked Lee for the position without input. And we have a lot of really rich and powerful people with knowledge and experience that would have been more than welcome to take on this task. Onward and upward is the hope. But at the same time, I'm deeply concerned that now that this person is gone, Daniel Lee is gone, that efforts will be afford, um, underway to basically get rid of uh, you know, uh, superintendent of equity or even the equity department. The California Department of Education told me they will begin the candidate search to fill the position in the coming weeks. Politico reported that Lee's position was never publicly posted online before he was hired and that the department says they did not know about the rule that state workers have to live in state unless for very specific jobs like lobbying in D.C.